Guess what, you guys? Guess who's back? Me! Guess, guess what? Guess who's back? Yep, that's right, your girl. Me. And we're gonna do a YouTube video today on more tech things. I know I've been gone since December. My apologies. I've been busy and this whole COVID thing just been crazy. So your girl been laying low and I was like, dang, I got views on my first video. And I was like, okay, I need to post more content. Why not? So y'all know I'm still new to this whole YouTube situation. So I'm gonna be looking from my camera again to my screen. Um, I got some really cool tips for you guys. I got some tips that I wish I knew as a STEM major. Um, tips that people, I wish they would have told me going into it and that I had no clue until I got into the major. So don't worry, your big sister got you. I'm gonna give you guys 10 facts on what you need to know as a STEM major. Period, poo. Cause we ain't gonna have no dummies and your girl got you covered. So step number one, create a digital planner so you can keep up with your assignments, your homework, and test dates. Because when I got to college, I thought I was through with the whole planner thing, you know, dealing with high school. But no, you're not. So when you get to college, you're actually gonna need it because you're not gonna have teachers to remind you on what's due, what's next, what's coming up. They're gonna give you a syllabus or a syllabi, something you like to call it. They're gonna give you that on the first day of school and you're gonna have to keep track of everything that's on there. Like. They're not gonna remind you, they're not gonna tell you unless it's like two days before the test, like, hey, we got a test coming up or hey, we got a quiz. So keep a digital planner, get a whiteboard, put it in your room, in your dorm, and write when you have stuff that is due. Cause if you don't, that's like horrible for you, then you're gonna be cramming at the last minute and you just don't wanna do that. Number two, do all the extra credit and get good at math and get good in science. Um, as a STEM major, you need to be good in every single math course they're gonna give you that you gotta take. Me personally, I wasn't a fan of math, but I made it work. Um, I went into the office hours, I studied with other students. Um, I did all the extra credit, and if you're one of those students that you know you're gonna need extra credit to boost your grade, do it. But I feel like even as a super, super smart student, you still need to do it because it's gonna look good and it's gonna help you and it shows the professors that you actually care about your grade. All right, step number three. Well, lesson number three, basically. Um, technically, you are your own professor and you are your own teacher. So I feel like when people say they're self-taught on everything or like self-taught developers, especially with developers, I feel like everybody is self-taught because we literally go to these classes and they're just PowerPoints and they're notes. Professor's gonna give you notes, they're gonna give you PowerPoints and you bitch gotta teach yourself on how to do things. I mean, they'll give you a book to say, hey, go get this book, but other than that, you gotta learn, especially with coding. You're learning yourself. They're not teaching you anything. Only thing they're there to do is to help guide you when you're struggling, and on top of that, to give you tests when you need to take it. So definitely go into them office hours. Definitely let them see your face more, because professors love to see your face. Um, I had a situation once when I was in college I was constantly missing this class because I didn't like it. And the professor noticed that. He was like, hey, like I haven't seen you in my class. I'm not about to give you extra work to do because you're never here. And that like really is a big thing in college. So definitely show up to office hours, definitely show the class on time and be prepared to teach yourself these instructions in this lesson and everything they give you because you are your own teacher. Okay, hey, step number four, only take courses that you feel like that you can handle. Do not go over 15 credit hours. I did that. Plenty of time, it was hard, I was struggling, trying to figure out how I'm gonna do all the homework and how I'm gonna get these classes and how I'm gonna try not to withdraw because some students absolutely, oh my God, I gotta drink something. Some students would actually withdraw from the class and you don't wanna be that student withdrawing from the class. It don't look good. So definitely try to take courses that you can handle. And if you feel like you're a morning person, you wanna get all your classes out in the way in the morning, go take a morning class. If you feel like you can get all your classes out at night, like me, I like night class, I took night classes so I can hang out with my friends and kick in and do what I want during the day. But don't be like me, I was a bad influence. But I graduated, but still, just figure out what you like and what your pace is, especially if you work. If you work during the day, take night classes. But if you work at night, take day classes. Number five, you guys. Get you a study buddy and get you a tutor. You're gonna need a tutor if you're definitely dealing with coding. They have code tutors, Java tutors, P what, Python tutors, C++, all that good stuff, C Sharp, everything you need, get a tutor. For any other majors that are dealing with STEM, it's still important to get a tutor and it's still important to get you a study group. Beginning of the semester, find you a crew that you can hang out with, 
y'all study together all the time and i promise you it's going to work wonders but if you're an introvert you don't like to be around people then don't be around people but if you know that you can't study by yourself and you have issues studying and forcing yourself to study get your study crew number six join a stem organization and this is important because when you join a stem organization you you pretty much get to hang around people that's kind of like you in a sense um y'all both very in your own way when it comes to stem stuff y'all like the same or similar stuff um it's kind of important i met my best friend through a stem organization and we're still friends to this day um and we both have really good careers we have like we help out with other organizations and on top of that we are now like lead people in our organization so definitely get in the stem organization um they have great conferences they teach you how to build interviewing skills they're helpful with the resumes like it's really really good to get into but we'll talk about that later in another video number seven attend career fairs career fairs are super super important oh my god who's texting me <laughs> hold that thought anyway back to number seven so attend career fairs, they're super important. Um, it's really important like when you're a junior going into, no, actually when you're a sophomore going into your junior year, it's really important because then you can do internships and on top of that, it looks good because it's prepping you for interviewing. Then you learn how to network with other people. You learn how to talk to people, engage with people, um, do your elevator pitch with people. Um, it helps you with re resume critiquing. Um, I got my resume critiqued a lot. Actually, I went to this one career fair at Georgia Tech and this lady grilled my resume up and down. Like when I tell y'all I thought my resume was horrible after she looked at it, I was like, okay, I gotta do something different. So after she did that, that helped me a lot because people was like looking at me, trying to interview me and stuff like that. So I say interview at your school and also go to other like career fairs at another school if you can. I know Georgia Tech lets you go to their career fairs, but only if you're like an organization though. Back to the organization thing, which I will talk about that again. Oh, and another thing, definitely get you a LinkedIn profile if you're going to the career fairs. Now, I'm pretty sure you're thinking like, well, Justice, what is a LinkedIn? Um, okay, so basically with LinkedIn, it's literally like an online resume and people can look at your work, look at your history. If you don't have any work history, you can put a portfolio up, you put your GitHub up there, you can put everything you want up there. And they, it's kind of like, they get to understand you, especially if you have people writing recommendations on your wall. It helps a lot. All right, you guys, so number eight. Please, please, please pick a good group to work with when it comes to projects and assignments. Because if you don't, I repeat, if you don't, not only one fail, you all fail as a whole. Had that happened before, I was so pissed. I was like, oh my God, I'm never dealing with nobody else ever in a group project. But when you're in STEM, majority of your projects and group assignments are in groups because in the real world, you're gonna work in groups. Did not know that when I was a STEM major, I did not know I would have to work with a team of people that I work with. I thought I'd be on my own doing my own thing. Nope, you're working in groups. So it's important to actually be good at collaborations, working with other, working well as a team member or as a team lead. Really, to be honest, um, if you feel like you wanna get into team lead and be a project manager, doing this in college is the perfect time to do it because it gives you a lot of experience and you become familiar with the terminology, basically. Dealing with groups is, if you snitch on one, I mean, there's only two options. Your professor gonna tell you either he'll work on it and he'll fix it and move that person, or two, he gonna tell you to figure it out. Y'all gonna have to do this in the real world. Once again, figure it out. Talk about it, hash it out. Either way, y'all gonna be stuck. So that's when you realize, okay, you you gotta become the boss. You gotta put on your big girl, big boy hat and you gotta tell that person, hey, you gotta get together cause right now you got our grades in jeopardy and I'm not about to play with you. That's when you gotta put on your Regina George. And nobody likes Regina George, but you gotta do it because who finna mess up who grade? Not them? Get that in check. Make sure you pick a good team. And also, when you find a good team, if y'all have similar classes, pick that same team throughout all the classes. Keep the same team. Don't switch up. Number nine. All right, so here's the biggie that I did not know when I attended college. I did not know that your exams are not multiple choice and you have to write out everything. 
from essay form to code to just anything they have on there you got to write it all out with the code it's not going to be like oh multiple choice this or do you think it's this no you got to write out lines of code at that i mean it's it's ridiculous you got to write it out and on top of that you gotta here's the thing that i didn't like about it it'd be like 13 questions but they're like the longest 13 questions and you it will literally take you the whole class period especially if you don't know what you're doing and there's been times where i didn't know what i was doing so i would like try to peek and see what my friends are doing because your girl didn't know but listen you need to be prepared so when you have these coding like quizzes and exams please brush up on your code daily like even if you don't have no homework sometimes just brush up on your code daily because if not you will forget certain things and every detail matter from down to the semicolon down to the lettering down to the get if all that everything like it all matters and if you get that wrong that's point taken off and then you failed so please 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 keep in mind that it's not multiple choice all right y'all ready for number 10 <laughs> are y'all actually ready for number 10 because i'm ready for number 10 after i drink this water i'm ready for number 10 drum roll please mm -hmm. those are definitely my nails so cute by the way all right number 10 is please 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 i beg you please do not be coming in these people's classrooms going to sleep. Do not be coming in these people's classroom being on the phone. Because if you come in their classroom and being on their phone and going to sleep, guess what? You are the target for the whole entire semester. The professor is going to give you so much crap because you the student that, oh, okay, we got the one that want to fall asleep and not pay attention. They're going to call on your name. They're going to try to wake you up. Sometimes they're just probably going to let you sleep through the whole class. And then they're going to let you stay there until you're in another class. I've seen that happen to one boy before. He was literally asleep the whole class and he stayed until another class came in. You don't want to be that person. So please do not come in here messing with these people. Please do not come in here like being rah-rah, having negative attitude, thinking you're the bomb in these classrooms. Because that's the point. At the end of the day, really, everybody's helping everybody. We all trying to graduate. We all trying to get to the bag. We all trying to make this money. So... It's definitely important to pay attention in class. Do not get distracted. Do not be on your phone. Please do not be on your phone. Um, take notes. Constantly take notes. You and your friends take notes. Ask your professor if you can record. Some will let you record. Some won't. Um, it just really depends on what school you go to. But just stay on top of your game. And those are the top 10 things that I wish I knew when I was in STEM. But I didn't. And I learned from trial and error. So I'm trying to help you guys. Because I know school is starting back in August. To be prepared on what to do and what not to do as a STEM major. But other than that you guys. That is it. I'm trying to keep my videos short. Because I'm not trying to go over at least 20 minutes again. It takes long. Too long to edit. Um, I'm definitely going to post more content. I'm trying to post content on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So be on the lookout on my channel on Tuesdays and Thursdays for new content. Um... Other than that, I really miss you guys and your girl's going to be on it and you will not believe what time it is right now because it's super late and I'm going to film this video for y'all. It's like 2 o'clock in the morning here and I got my hair in a mess and I get my hair done tomorrow and I'm getting off topic. But anywho, so if you guys like this video, please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Tell a friend, tell a friend, and your stem sister got you. I got you. Now listen, I want y'all to... Go get these degrees. Go get this money. Live your life. Do great things. Become successful. And send me y'all grades at the end of the semester because I want to see what y'all got going on. But yeah, send me y'all grades. You know, big sister care, big sister got y'all. So I can know what's going on. And if you have an issue and if you want to talk about some things, feel free to set up a consultation. Link down below. I will leave it down there. I will leave my new Instagram down as well. And you guys have a good day. Thank you for watching. What was that? There we go. <laughs>